G'day, how are you? My name's Dan, and welcome back to the Green and Gold Life. So the family and I just got back from our holiday. I like to book a holiday uh, every every year around this time, so I don't have to look at my lawn too much at Reno time. So uh, as you can see, she's bounced back. Uh, not too bad. So I'd say we're roughly 30 or 40 percent there in terms of recovery. So it'll probably be a four or five week recovery period, I reckon. So um, yeah, we've. Uh, We've got a bit of green stuff poking through, which is rad. We've uh, we put down the plant doctor's champion at time of um, at time of renovation. So um, yeah, we're seeing some leafy growth being pushed up, and uh, it's recovering well. So pretty happy about that. Uh, we do have a few spots down here that um, we can see the lawn has sort of pushed up the sand. So we might give that a quick brush over with the leveling rake. All right, let's jump out the front and see how the front turf's going from the from the glyphosate application we put down before we left. Alrighty, as you can see, the kai is looking a little bit sick. So um, we gave this a hit about a week ago, uh, just before the family and I took off on holiday. So as you can see, it's yellow and off. So it looks like that first application is doing its job. So in about another week's time, roughly when this video gets released, I'll be hitting it again with the glyphosate. And uh, yeah, hopefully by then we've it, given it a fair old knock and she won't be coming back. We can see, um, yeah, the spot on the French drains looking a little bit sick, and also where the rhizomes have sort of started to bring up more growth, we can see that's looking sick as well. So, uh, yeah, pretty happy with our first application. It'd be good to see how it's looking in another week's time. Um, but, you know, I'll, I'll throw some photos up on Facebook. You can check them out there uh, and see how it's dying off. <laughs> All right, I don't know how well that's coming through at your end, but you might be able to see the grass sort of lifting this sand up in one sheet. That's because we've got pretty heavy in this area here. So, um, so if I just sort of, you can see if I just sort of work that in with my hand, the grass will start to poke back through again. I'll grab the leveling rake again, and I'll just give this a light brush over. And uh, that way, we start working this back down into the canopy, letting the grass come through. And uh, yeah, and help make it nice and flat. Hey, check it. Hey, check it, put the place up. Put the place up, yeah we know what we made of Can't get enough for you, fool, I'm a chaser Face up, now I feel a little major Blink up an eye, ego I'm a taker Shake up, yeah she was a poor shaker She shake me out that door to no place Damn, why you doing all that? But she was my wife, but you stabbed me in the back Something like a rose when we came out there We settled back like the big All right, so we're gonna give it a hit with the rotary today. That's because there's so much sand uh, still still present. I'm probably a minimum three weeks away from even thinking about getting the Scotty B out, just because that sand will act like an abrasive and um, wear away that edge we, uh, we just back lapped in a couple of months ago. So um, yeah, you, you wanna be really careful not to use a cylinder mower at this point. Consider putting your sprinklers on for five minutes, that way the, the sand's nice and damp and it's a little bit harder to pick up. Uh, I don't have to worry about that today because we've had a little bit of rain. Let's spark this old girl up and get going. Put the place up, yeah we know what we made of Can't get enough for you, fool, I'm a chaser Face up, now I feel a little major Blink of an eye, ego I'm a taker Shake her, yeah she was a born shaker She shake me out that door to no place Damn, why you doing all that? Thought you was my wife, but you stabbed me in the back Sound like a rose when we came out there We settled back, like the big G. Break the bones, break the best, come on, get to it. 
Cody, I just wanted to show you something. That's how much sand we've got in the back of the catcher. Alrighty, as you can see, there's a bit of sand in our catcher here. I'd say it's a good 60-40 mix sand uh, versus clippings. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, that's telling me two things. One, I might be on here too early, or two, my sand wasn't as wet as what I thought it was. Uh, I'm hoping it's the latter. I don't think I'm on too early. Uh, as you can see, it's got, a, it's got a, a decent green cast across the yard. So I wanted to get on early, give it a mow, and try and stimulate some more growth. So uh, I don't think I'm on too early. Uh, maybe my sand was a little bit um, a little bit drier than I initially thought. So um, yeah, we've picked up a bit of it. Um, that extra weight as well has sort of caused a few ruts in some of the uh, in some of the heavier areas. So I'm gonna have to go back with a bit more sand and tidy it up. So uh, yeah, I'm a bit spewing about that, but you know, it's a little bit of a rocky start to the season. But you know, we still got the rest of the year to to, uh, to make it come good. So yeah, shouldn't panic. All right. Alrighty, so just down here by the patch of shame in front of the gym. Uh, still haven't quite seen any, uh, any new growth through there yet. I'm not really sure how many cores made their way down there. What might have been smarter is to rake the cores up into piles and then, uh, and then pick them up and then disperse them in the area rather than just push them all the way from the top of the hill down to the bottom here. But, uh, well, that's for next time. Um, so yeah, haven't really seen any of these scarifyings germinate yet or uh, any of the cores. Alrighty, so I've sort of top dressed, re top dressed up the top a little bit and a little bit up on top of the ramp as well, where uh, most of the affected areas were with that full catcher and those divots that the, that the lawnmower left. So uh, that only sort of took me 10, 15 minutes to, to re top dress those. So we weren't going super heavy uh, with the sand again this time. So uh, yeah, it only really took me 10 or 15 minutes. Alrighty, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more lawn and garden content. Uh, you can catch us over on Facebook at The Green and Gold Life. I'll leave some updates up on the Facebook page so you can see how it's getting on. All right, I'll chat you on. Uru.